this is delicious. This is so good. This is so good. Camel. Are you eating the Universal Yums box again? Uh, I'm just a quality taste tester. I'm not eating anything other than a small little bit of the box. I guess I should save some for the video. Oh, but it is so good. Enjoy the video. Hello and welcome. Today we have the Universal Yums box. This is their $16 a month box. They also have different tier levels where you can get a box that contains more goodies than what we get, but we like this size box. Where are we going today? We're going to France. Sounds like it could be a very tasty experience. Très bien. We have the strawberry chewy bonbons. Oh. They say they're sort of like Starburst, only better. So we will see if how they measure up. Okay. That's what they look like. Requires a little bit of chewing. Mm -hmm. Which might keep me from eating the entire bag in one sitting. But they have a nice strawberry flavor. Mm-hmm. Definitely a good strawberry flavor. Kind of a toffee-like texture. Sort of stick to your teeth. Require mm -hmm. a little bit of chewing, but it's worth it. Yes, very, very good. I think this is going to make the top of my taste test list. Yeah, and they said that was the favorite from previous year's uh, uh, boxes from France. Good. Next, we have Sable de Pure. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna have a fun bloopers video here. Next, we have Sable uh, Pour. <laughs> we have Pur, 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 Pur. Sab, Sable Pur 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 La La, but from La Mer. Poular, 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 La Mer Poular, oh, Poul La Mer Poulard. Oh, boy. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just try to introduce this one. Ne next oh, Apparently. <laughs> Butter cookies. Butter cookies. <laughs> That's what this is, because we're having a devil of a time trying to say it in French. French for me was a long time ago. I took French in high school, but I graduated high school in 81. That's 1981, not 1881. <laughs> this is what they look like. They say 1888. Hopefully that's not when they were made. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. like, like a shortbread. Yes, tastes like a shortbread cookie. Nice and crunchy and thin. Next up, we have Sabor Paoli potato chips. There are garlic potato chips. Can... Wow, you can smell the garlic just opening the bag. Yes, you can. Here we go. Oof. Good way to clear the sinuses. Wow. What? It's garlic. Woof. Maybe it's because we just had two sweets. Mm hmm That's intensifying, perhaps, the garlic, but... I think it's pretty intense garlic. It's more like garlic chips with a, a potato substrate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm almost tempted to say that these would be something that I would want to crunch up and use, like, to, um, to bread, like, uh, chicken or something. Mm. There's an idea. Yeah, because that's pretty intense. Woof! 
Next, we have the Universal Yums bag. And there's assorted fruit chews this month. It looks like we get caramel or caramel, depending upon what you want to pronounce it, and a strawberry and a orange or a tangerine. What's your preference? I'm going to get the strawberry. Okay. I will try one of these. Really? Fairly hard chew, not a hard candy, but... That requires a lot of chewing. Mm-hmm. It's gonna stick to every tooth in my mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, nice strawberry flavor. Mm-hmm, one of the better fruit chews I've had. This is so chewy. It's almost better just to suck on it and enjoy the sweetness that way. I can smell your strawberry. Mm -hmm. Next up are some cheesy corn snacks and the package even contains a mouse. Hopefully just on the cover. I mean, yes, please. I, no, no, no rodentia in the house. They look like they're hollow. Cheese puffs are sort of like a bugle. Kind of like Fritos, except lighter and yeah, puffier. A light, light, a fluffy texture uh, and very crisp. So even lighter than, say, a bugle or something like that or a cheese puff. More yeah. crunchier than a cheese puff. Yeah, a... Um, a cross between Fritos and Cheetos, but not as cheesy as Cheetos, but still the corn of the Fritos, but the light puffiness of a puffed Cheetos. Mm -hmm. If I'm making any sense, and I'm not sure if I am. Those are, and last but not least, we have these truffles. And no actual truffles were damaged in uh, the making of these. Apparently, the, the story goes that uh, these are actually uh, ganache, and apparently ganache was discovered by accident when uh, a confectionery uh, accidentally poured uh, hot cream over chocolate, and mm. um, in, instead of saying um, uh, adieu to the chocolate, it actually ended up working out very nicely, and so they made it into little truffles candy after the shape. Now well, that's what they look like. Very rich and chocolatey. Mmm. And I'm not big on chocolate. This is good. Yes, it is. A nice dark chocolate. Uh-huh. A little harder than you would think of a ganache. It is, you know, it's not running out, but it has a great ganache taste. Good, good flavor. This gets a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. And it's messy. Definitely. So that concludes the taste test portion of this video. What were your favorites? Let's see. Well, I like the uh, uh, cheesy uh, corn puffs and, of course, the chocolate truffles. My two favorites were the butter cookies and the strawberry candies. One of the highlights of the Universal Yums box is it comes with a book that's about uh, that country. And it also, it describes some of the traditions of the country and uh, gives recipes to, uh, for some of their dishes, uh, has links to music and so forth. Uh, and describes, of course, all the items in the box. But it also has a trivia quiz. Oh, another quiz and test that I have not studied for. This ought to be fun. Play along at home, write down your answers, and let's see how you do. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. I guess as ready as you'll ever be. There are no blanks in Paris. A, stop signs. B, taxi cabs, 
C, traffic lights, or D, buses? Um, stop signs. That's correct. They use a... It, they have stoplights and they have traffic circles, but no stop signs. Oh, I hate traffic circles. They make me nervous. So. Over 100 wild blank live in the village of Amonths. A, chimps. B, wallabies. C, lemurs. D, koalas. Chimps? Actually, it's wallabies. Uh, I would have thought that would have been Australia. Yes, the, the, the wallabies are native to Australia and Tasmania, but apparently a group of wallabies escaped the local zoo in the 1970s mm. and have been living in the you know, uh, foresty area outside the town for since the 70s, and uh, their population has grown to over 100 and every so often, some of them will be seen in town. And it's not a problem, they're, they're harmless, but uh, it's certainly an interesting tourist attraction. The French phrase a la mode means A, served with oysters, B, from the heavens, C, served with ice cream, or D, in style. Ice cream! There you go. In North America, it means served with ice cream. In France itself, it doesn't mean served with ice cream. It just means in style. Oh! But in, in America, having pie with ice cream is in style, always. <laughs> so it works. Uh, at the Dunkirk Carnival, blank is poured on people's heads. A, grated cheese. B, wine. C, raw fish. D, cotton candy. Wine. It's actually raw fish. Uh, remind me not to go to that festival. <laughs> mm. Apparently the tradition got started in 1676 when fishermen were about to depart on a six month fishing trip and they ate large fish dinners to celebrate. But it's since turned into uh, pouring raw fish on the average person's head. No. No, uh, we are not going to that festival. No, 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 thank you. I, the, the, the French can have their tradition. That's perfectly fine. N me? No. Not, nope, 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 nope. Sorry, wrong number, not happening. <laughs> oh, well, no fish festival for you. No fish festival for me. Uh, good, good job on the trivia quiz. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about France and the trivia of the area. And we hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the snacks. I certainly enjoyed eating some of the snacks. Yes, indeed. If you haven't already, please comment, give it a thumbs up like, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you know when we send up another video. If you're interested in watching more videos, hang on because there should be another video recommendation popping up sooner on the screen here. And we hope to see you again in another video. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.